Check one, check two. Yeah, baby. Is it time to throw gasoline on a match? Let's go, Nick. My pop said when I was a baby, it was raining outside one day. My mom was carrying me. She slipped and dropped me. I landed on my head. Happens, it happens. I landed on my head. And he always, uh, he always nonchalantly references that story from time to time throughout my life, you know? And he's not like a, he's not like, my pops ain't like a real big shit talker, you know? And so I, I think when he says, I think, I believe it's a true story. And because sometimes he looks at me and says, what the fuck happened? You know, but he knows what happened. My mom knows what happened, but maybe that's just him trying to throw in a jab um, at maybe choices that I've made in my life. Um, And I'm not sure if that's the cause of a disease that I have. I have a, I have IBM. You know what IBM is? I do not. I do not. It's irritable bowel movement. (laughs) It's irritable, irritable bowel movement. Um, have you ever seen, uh, I mean, from Tuesday to Tuesday, from Tuesday to Tuesday, dog, um, I got lunch boxes on the side of the freeway, bro. Yeah. I mean, shout out to Caltrans and I apologize right now, dog, but have you ever seen a lunch box with a fucking IBEW sticker on it and fucking shit? And fucking shit in the lunchbox with a fucking slingshot on top of it, dog. Spence out, homie. That's you. That's me, dog. 100%, dog. I have a IBM irritable bowel movement. We got a lot of truckers over there where I'm at, dog. Be shitting all over us. Real shit. Real my stomach. Shit. You know what, bro? My, my, I, my system is allergic to alcohol, bro. <sighs> Nothing's worse than driving to work at 3 o'clock in the morning, bro. And all of a sudden... You're hitting that 605 freeway and your gut just fucking boom, boom. Says, I gotta go. And there ain't nothing open, dog. I've had truckers, bro. Bonk, bonk, you know what I mean? And there'll just be a middle finger raised up on the other side of my car. Fuck you, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, All through school, I drew pictures of dicks in school textbooks until I dropped out. I mean, with the degree in drawing. periodically I ask myself who am I right I think we all do right easily easily for real without a gun in my waist who am I broke on drugs nowhere to go who are we Without homies standing behind me, where's your heart at? Who am I, right? Without standing in the shadow of another man using that name as leverage to pump fear into someone else's heart, who am I? Without a safety net, who are we, right? Yeah. Without a safety net, who the fuck are we, dog? I mean, life experiences determines the man you are. Make you or break you, right? Easily. Sometimes some of the roughest times can break us, bro. We've seen it happen to good dudes. Easily. I mean, how do you cope, right? Right. How do you cope? Will you dig deep and find a way to survive? I just want to say glory to God, baby. Glory to God. I, I, I say I'm, I'm what you call a seasoned fuck-up, dog. I'm, I'm a seasoned fuck-up, right? I'm a yeah. seasoned fuck-up. Seasonally, I fuck up. Self-sabotage, man. Ever self-sabotage yourself? I think we all had a, have at times. You know what I mean? I took care of my toys as a child, but my self-worth was always buffering. For some reason. I mean, one day I'll share my story and I'll tell you why my self-worth was buffering. Hmm. I'm not God, I'm one of his sons, right? If you're one of God's sons, 
and a, let's speak on God. A father's duty is to give his son lessons. Right? Of Imperfect, baby. Yeah. You know? Who is perfect? Okay. God? Yeah, but there's not many of us here perfect. Easily. Yeah, exactly. Easily. That's what it's saying. Nobody's perfect. Without saying. Nobody's perfect. Will I learn? Will I learn? Oh, shit. There I go buffering again. Sometimes we lose connection. Sometimes the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Where the where my towers at? <laughs> towers, it's a bad area. I uh, need the way, some bars. I need some bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way I podcast is the way I live life. Okay, the way it's it's the way I live life. Free, wild, calculated, reckless. I love life so much. I love life so much, but sometimes I don't take care of it. Can you relate to that? Easily relate to it. Easily. I'm gonna say that again. I love life so fucking much, but sometimes I don't take care of it, dog. My apologies to my boys for last weekend. Thank you for backing up our model here at Hoodstocks. All guests leave the way they came. Shout out to my boys right here. Rick, Hi. Nick, K9, Augustine, Mondo, Nito. Nito. Yeah. Thank you, brothers. Because I'll tell you like this. They had the homies back and they took care of them, bro. 1,000%, dog. You know what I mean? You know why? Because the shit was going a little haywired. And they took care of the homie right here. 1,000% like they were with him, bro. Straight up. And that's what we do here at Hoodstocks. And that's what I mean by we got nothing but bosses right here. <laughs> hey. Spontaneous adrenaline. A high level frequency of pure retardation when I'm in my comfort state, baby. I catch a vibration and once I get going on that wave, sometimes it turns into a tsunami. Especially if you take me out my zone. Silly and happy, that's my zone, dog. That's my zone, dog. That's my true spirit. My true spirit is a silly ass and happy dude, bro. Real shit. Little boy in a grown man body. That's me, dog. 47 years old. Act your age. <laughs> nah, dog. Nah, dog. My childhood was stripped for me, dog. But that's another episode. You know what I mean? I'll forever be young and I'll forever be with the shits, homie. Don't ever get that twisted, dog. Don't take the motherfucking niceness for fucking weakness, dog. Oh, yeah. But I ain't bulletproof, baby. I could have got it. Anytime, anywhere, from anybody, bro. Homie, like I said, I'm God's son. I'm not God. So I, I was tripping. You know what I mean? We trip, right? You know? And with this Google thing and shit, you know what I mean? Uh, I, 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 I wanted to do this. I wanted to, I Googled admitting flaws. And when I, when I Googled admitting flaws, it said insecurity and fear of consequences. Fear and one of the most common reasons, fear is one of the most common reasons for people not able to admit they are wrong at the right time. The worry associated with harm to their reputation and credibility derails their awareness and acceptance of being incorrect. Okay. Let's talk about me, dog. And then we'll get into lefty gunplay. But let's talk about me, dog. Okay? Character flaws, bro. Character flaws, bro. Okay? Character flaw that runs in my family are horrible temperaments. Horrible temperaments. In my family, it doesn't take alcohol or drugs for a motherfucker to lose their top. And that's a lack of self-control, dog. Let's be real about it, bro. Which makes one out of control. Easily triggered at times. But when we're in control, we're very strong in control. But when we're out of control, like there's no, sometimes there's no middle, bro. It's hard to get that middle ground, bro. Like facts. It's hard to get that middle ground. Let me talk about the Mexican women in my family, bro. <laughs> Homie, the Mexican women in my family are pit bulls, dog. All the men bow down in my family, the women in my family. My auntie, which is Nick's mom, my mom, my sisters, bro. <laughs> Homie. Mexican women in my family are crazy, bro. 
they, they fucking alpha females and their temperaments sometimes are fucking bad, bro. I want to share a story about uh, West Covina. Uh, I was uh, I was getting a fucking my truck. I was getting a leveling lift in my truck, and I've showed this story before, but I just want to give an example, right? I was getting a leveling lift in my truck, and I had my girl come pick me up, right? Drop off the truck. She picks me up. We're getting ready to pull out the parking lot, and right before we can make the right, the hoodas pass by, bro. And they, they, you know, they did the... There he goes. They broke we their neck. We found him. We found... There he is. Yeah. They, that's what they do when they see us. They broke the neck, bro. Yeah, they broke the neck. Sure. And so I, I, I wanted to do the guilty thing and make a left, yeah. right? But I'm not guilty of nothing, bro. I'm good, yeah. fool. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, dog. I just dropped up my truck to get a left and lift, baby. Yeah. Don't hate on that. Yeah. So I made the right. I make the right. I already knew, dog. I already knew. They coming. I, I already knew. I made the right. And what they do, dog? They pulled over. Let me pass. They got behind me. I crossed the light. They jumped on my bumper. They didn't hit the lights, dog. But I was, now I'm pissed, homie. I'm yeah. sober, but I'm pissed, bro. Yeah. I'm pissed, fool. Like, man, homie, fuck these dudes, bro. The yeah, fuck, dog? Stereotyped right you now. You got me fucked up, dog. And yeah. so, homie, I don't wait for them to pull me over, dog. I pulled myself over, bro, because I'm pissed, bro. I'm uh, on my babies, doggy. No, ain't no name motherfucker take no alcohol, dog. And we talking about the temperament now, right? You know what I mean? Back yeah. to the temperament. I ain't buffering, homie. You know what I mean? Talking about the, <laughs> the jeans. I pull the fuck over, dog. And of course, they pull over right behind me. And he walks up and shit. I said, homie, hurry up and get this shit the fuck over with. Here's my fucking driver's license. I got somewhere to go. Yeah. And he was just like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like, what? And I said, bro, I already know you're going to pull me over. I did it for you. Here I am. Run my license and let me get the, the fuck out of here. Because I had to, actually I had to go to downtown LA to, to uh, shout out to motherfucking Rhinos. I go to Rhinos and have them print my hats. You know what I mean? In downtown LA. Yeah. Been going to them for fucking seven, eight years in downtown LA. That's my spot right there. Plug for rhinos, right? Yeah. And I had to go see uh, the homie's wife that works right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think I've been there. I've yeah. been there. I talked to her, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Coke people. I don't yeah. want to say Good first names. People. Good people, Good people, bro. Yeah. Exactly. The, uh, South Central, stand the fuck up, dog. Anyways, <clears throat> um, piss, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so he... Takes my license. He goes, can I get registration too? Mind you, this is my girl's car, but I'm driving it. And my girl's sitting shotgun, you yeah. know? And so, bam. You know what I mean? I'm fucking mad, bro. My body language is just telling this dude, fuck you. every Because, yeah. you know, I just. Easily. You know, yeah. You and go. so I give it to him. He takes off. He comes back. And he goes, he, he looks at me. And he goes, you mind if we search your car? Hmm. And and my and before that we went through the pro or probation. Are you on pro or probation? No, motherfucker. Run that driver's license because I got to go somewhere. Yeah, you know I'm what I mean. Busy. So now he comes back and he says, "You mind if we search your car?" And I said, "What's the probable cause?" Yeah, you know, because it's got to be a probable cause, dog. I'm not on pro. I'm not on probation. I didn't fucking, I didn't uh, 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 violate a traffic stop or law. nothing. It's yeah. just obviously you seen a bald head and you, you know, what I mean, you pulling me the fuck over, dog. Stereotype, bro. Stereotype me, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what I did, dog, is I said, I said, check it out. You are gonna do this shit anyways? You gonna search this car no matter what? Yeah. So I opened up the door, I got up, and I looked him in his face, and I said, hurry your bitch ass up. <laughs> On God. I looked in his face, I said, hurry your bitch ass up. <laughs> you know? And so now I walked to the back of the car, and now, according to him, I, ob I am obtained. Detained. 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 Thank you. Thank yeah. you for the correction, Rick. Uh, I Googled bad temperaments. I Googled bad tem I said, are bad temperaments hereditary, okay? And this is what Google says, guys, okay? I don't know if you guys do, have do this, and I don't know if you guys care to hear this, but we'll get into the meat and potatoes in a minute. Let me just get through this right now, dog. It says, so I Googled, are bad temperaments hereditary? And this is what they said. It says, even identical twins who were raised apart from one another in separate households share, share such traits. Scientists estimate that 20 to 60% of temperament is determined by genetics. 
Sounds about right to me. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right to me. Yeah. I started Hoodstocks for good laughs and for a therapeutic outlet within the community. You guys know that, dog. You guys know that, baby. We've been clowning since day one. We've been fuck you in since day one, dog. We've been having a good time since day one, dog. Let's talk about what impresses me, dog. What impresses me? Convicted murders that have not, that ha, that have been on this podcast and that are now a part of greatness within change on these streets. That impresses me, dog. That impresses me, dog. Yeah. Change impresses me, dog. Right? Education impresses me. I've never embraced education until I went to school for six years straight while working 40 plus hours a week while starting a podcast called Hoodstocks. I mean, I believe that deserves respect. Easily. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a big plate right there. Facts. Gold chains around one's neck is very impressive. I love to see it because we see kings and queens and that shit is that that shit is the a sign of power, bro. You know what I mean? But th that doesn't exempt the individual from giving a mutual respect, right? That doesn't exempt you, dog, from not saying excuse me if I bump into you. Check it out, dog. I want to say this. I made I, I made a hundred k last year, bro. I made a hundred k last year, Rick. Yeah. And shit, where I'm from and what I where I've been, I'd say that makes me rich, bro. I'm yeah. rich, bitch. I'm from the same place, bro. I know. I worked for that. That ain't drug money. Yeah. I made 100K off being an electrician for IBW Local 11 last year, journeyman wages, bro. I made 100K, bro. There's other, there's other journeymen that, way, that uh, made way more than me, dog. But I say that's rich. Facts. But, but, but now, where did that money go? I don't know. I don't know where that money went because why? Because I'm financially illiterate. I am fucking retarded to shit. Yeah, when you see me, I'm drunk, dog. That's how I'm with my finances, bro. Yeah, Dumb as shit, dog. dog. Dumb as shit. <sighs> I spend money like a drug addict. Why? Because I have always been an addict in one form or another. Do guys, I'm an addict and I will forever be an addict. Hello, my name is Lucky and I am an addict and I have a problem straight up. I mildly, I mildly consume nothing. I'm, imp I'm impulsive to the max. Let's talk about me, dog. Let's talk about my, my fucking character flaws. Let's talk about my bullshit, dog. You know what I mean? Let's not point the finger at somebody else and say this, that, and either. Let's talk about the fucking dude that's supposed to be on top of his shit right here, dog. Now, Lefty Gunplay. You know what's crazy? When Lefty Gunplay, let's get to the meat and potatoes, what you guys want to hear. When Lefty Gunplay came, it's funny, when he came into the studio, he sat down next to me and he said, man, I've been trying to get on hood stocks. But now that I'm famous, you have me here. I heard him, he said that sitting right next to me. And I, you know what? I just didn't, uh, I didn't react to it. I just took note to it, you know? I didn't react to it. I just took note to it. Um, and I know the homie been trying to be on Hoodstocks, but like we don't really do like, I don't like to have like a lot of rappers right here, bro, because sometimes it's just like, I just can't, it, it, they they worried about their image and I get it. It's important, dog, because it's taking care of their family, you know. But right here, like, I like to have comedians, bro. Comedians are fucking just like it's all open game and shit, dog. And they, they just a little easier with the shit because it's what they do. They get clowned on and yeah. they clown, shit bro. On me, I'm gonna shit on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Ex exactly, exactly. Yeah. You know. So I know the homie Lefty been trying to come on here for a cool minute because he uh, he's been tagging me on shit, DMing me on shit, and um, I don't know, bro. I just kind of like. I seen them, well, you know how I do it here at Hoodstocks, dog. If you're on all these other platforms, I don't put you on, dog, because it's like, ah, dog, you know what I mean? We're all connected and, you know, but sometimes I don't realize and my guys tell me right here that they're like, nah, look, people want to see how you react with them, how you do an interview with him, you A know? A different perspective, bro. Yeah. Sometimes you got, like, you can have somebody that comes on, but they could have been everywhere, but... When you're talking to them, it's a whole different interview, bro. Because you got a different perspective at life, at everything that's going on, bro. So that's why, like, a lot of us have told you with even different people, 
Like, Lux, like, who cares if they've been there, here, wherever? Having them here with you is a different interview, bro. You know what I mean? And that's how we really feel about it. Because most of the time when you get people here, they tell a different story than they told everywhere else because you're asking them different questions and it's from a different perspective, bro. It's coming from your perspective, from our perspective, from hood socks, bro. So that's why we always tell you that, bro. Yeah. Like on the real. And you know what? I want to start giving you guys the interviews you guys want, dog, because I've been just fighting you guys on this shit. And it's just me trying to be like original in somewhat of a sense. And I've done that since day one. You guys know the one since we've been back in the 10 by 10 room. Um, I've, I've done that since day one, but also too, it didn't, it never, it never mattered to me of how many subscribers I had or what my social media influence was the power that that beholds, which we know it holds a lot these days in the era that we live in. Um, but I've always felt like even in the beginning when I only had like a hundred subscribers, bro, that like, bro, like you, not, man, I don't want to sound arrogant about this, but bro, you should be happy too that you sitting here with a good ass dude from the streets, bro. You feel me? Like, like, yeah, my, my, my track record may not be publicized, but the ones that know, they know, dog, that, hey, I'm a good guy, bro. You know, I'm a good guy. And, and you know, I've, I've, kept it, I've kept it pretty solid, bro, throughout these years, you know, being in the game, you know, and, and it's such a weird kid that ended up in the game, dog. You know, a fucking... Pops is Russian Jew, mom this, that, you know what I mean? I was stuck in a Christian church for a while, drawing dicks again, right? You know what I mean? You know? For God's sake. For God's bro. <laughs> um, but, but the way I fell into the whole, the hood and the gang life, bro, is a fucking weird story, bro, because, you know, you know, it, it, I don't think it was, I guess it was supposed to happen like that, but it happened. But anyways, back to the interview, so, I, I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys, dog. We had the dude, Kenny Thunderbird, on here. And that was that was a, a now I'm taking, we, the Hoodstocks hasn't been doing very well. And we used to, people said, oh, fucking Lefty Gunplay gave you 200K, this and that. Well, I'll tell you like this, dog, the street dudes, dog, like about uh, less than a year ago, bro, was giving me 100, 200K on interviews, bro. You know, but, and so, but the game has changed and it's forever evolving, bro. And you got to evolve with it. But now everybody and their mama has podcasts now, dog. So the the, the competition is, is there, bro. Fierce. Yeah. Fierce. Yeah, like no. everybody's trying to get it. Everybody is starting a podcast every year. So I, I got to think about, like, I can't blame it all. Oh, it's on the guys. It's on me. You know, and it, it's probably on all of us. Maybe it's on me, some of my drinking, bro. All right. Yeah, maybe I need help, though. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'm going to get some help. Maybe I'm going to sit in some, in some meetings, bro, and take care of my fucking, some AA meetings. I've never done that shit in my life. Why? Because I thought I was too good for it, dog. But you know what, dog? Maybe I'll give it a chance, dog. You know, because I want to be right for you guys. You know, I don't want, the, I don't want, you know, I thought the interview was going great. So finally, so let me, hold on, let me get back to the lefty, having lefty gunplay. So we had Kenny Thunderbird on here and I had the little homies back, bro, even though I didn't know him because why? Because there's right and there's wrong, bro. You know, and the dude was wrong about what he was saying about the homie and shit, dog. And I didn't even know the little homie, dog. And you know, and, that, and the little homie ain't that much of a little homie, a young OG, because the boy 30 years old, dog, and he been around the block, dog. Salute to him, dog. You know? Um, but anyways. And the little homie's back, bro, even though I didn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, um, so, the, the, you know, I want to give you guys what you want. And and so since I've been, you guys been bugging the shit out of me to have Lefty on. Finally, bam, I make it happen. I said, you know what? It's time to make some plays and give the audience what they want. And sure enough, the audience reacted to it hard, bro. The numbers went crazy, bro. When crazy. I put up the flyer of him coming on, bro, the shit went bananas, bro, because people wanted to see the interaction, interaction between Lefty Gunplay and Lucky. They know Lucky's personality. They know Lefty's personality. Facts. And they want to say like, this would probably be pr this would probably be pretty interesting to watch these dudes together at a table and talk. For sure. And 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 mind you, I think it was, bro. That shit was going crazy. It was a good interview, bro, all the way across the board. I have never watched one lefty play, one lefty gunplay interview, bro. Never, not once, because I don't like to do that, bro. Yeah. 
I don't like to do that. I don't like to be influenced by another interview because what if that interview went bad for them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if it wasn't a good interview for him? So I don't want to have nothing in my head that's going to detour me. <coughs> from what you do. From what I do and giving the dude a fucking, a, a righteous interview, a level-headed interview. Yeah. So when I had the homie here, I really didn't know. I saw a bunch of his clips and I thought, like, fuck, this dude clips is... Clips are everywhere, yeah, bro. Clips are everywhere. And I was yeah. like, damn, this dude is, he's just like... He's, you know, he's got the gift, dog. You know what I mean? He's fucking, the shit he says is crazy. Like, I've seen clips, but to finally sit down with him the day I had him here, I actually gave the boy a lot of respect in the sense of I prepared for him. I, yeah. I, I wrote up a whole motherfucking plan of how I was going to interview him, and nobody gets that. The only ones that have gotten that is B Real from Cypress Hill and some of these other big dogs. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. nobody nobody has gotten that, but I gave it to him, you know, because I wanted to have, like, I didn't really want to talk about his music, you know, obviously to get to the come up of how it started, but I wanted to get to know him as an individual. So I wrote, uh, I mapped out a plan, and uh, I believe we started with that plan, yeah. and he was really, like, going off, going off, going off, and, and so it was hard for me to stick to that plan. You know, because usually when you do an interview or you do a podcasting at a high level, you know what I mean? And 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 especially when you're doing it with somebody that, that's media trained, like he said, he is media trained. Um, but maybe I, I'm not media trained, bro. You know, it, what is media trained? Maybe media trained is fucking keeping a professional, you fucking dumbass fucking lucky. You know what I mean? You know, maybe media trained is saying, hey, you know what? Let the guest do what the fuck he's going to do, lucky. Fuck what you talking about. I mean, is that being media trained? I don't know, dog. I'm still, you know, I don't, I, I'm not media trained, dog. I just I, like. I think honestly, sometimes it is, bro. Like, uh, I watch a few different ones and and um, I watch different outlets with everybody. And like, you know, from high to low. And I think that's sometimes that's what it is. They just let let the gas shine you know what i mean yeah but so so sometimes i like to and i and i've been taught this by other guests that i've had on here and, and i've been taught by this by guests that i'd say aren't media trained they're ex-lifers yeah. in prison homies yeah. that have come out and they served 30 35 years people like me bro people like rick yeah. that, that have like said hey you know what like i passed the ball to rick Rick does his thing, makes his play, then he passes it back to me. Yeah. So when I had Lefty, I, he wasn't really passing the ball back to me, and and I and I so I said, all right, cool, I got it. So I just scrapped my fucking like, what my plans, and I said, yeah. all right, dog, fuck it, dog, let's let's just, let's just shoot this from the from the, from the hip, from then. the hip, from yeah. the hip. Let's go from the hip, then. You know what I mean? And which I like to do, dog. I like to do, you know. But I what's think that's what you're best at, bro. Shooting it from the hip. I think when you try to go off of. Uh, a game plan, it's kind of hard because you don't know what the other dude is going to do. You know what I mean? Like, most of your best interviews are people from the streets that you just fuck with, that you guys just both be shooting from the hip, bro. Yeah, the because back and forth. when you're on a, a boom, I'm trying to stay here, it's kind of different because... The other dude don't know what you're doing. You know what I mean? So you might be like, hey, I'm trying to figure out, like, how was your school? How was your this? But he might be over here like, man, I was in the streets, bro, on some gangster shit. I wasn't really fucking with school. You know? So it, I'm just saying not anybody in particular, but I'm just saying as far as us being ready for somebody, without doing no real background on them. Like, we're thinking out the box, like, hey, we're trying to give you this or that. But then when he goes in, he's trying, he's got his own game plan. Like, I'm trying to give you this, bro. You know, like, I just speak for me for a quick second. Like when I went to Matt dying to see me, bro, it was kind of crazy because I try to go in there with a game plan, bro. I was like, man, I just want to give him this much of my life and this it. But I felt like, fuck, I fucked that shit up so bad because 
I kept trying to bring him back to what I wanted him to talk about, but he was way over here talking about <laughs> this. Yeah. So I think that's that's what the game plan stuff, because you've been doing this, bro, whether you believe in yourself or not. You fucking been doing this shit, Lux. A lot of people give you respect because of what you do, bro. Because you're, you got that guy, bro, with this shit. Like, you, you know, maybe from one to 10, now you're at two something, 300. You know what you're doing, bro. Yeah. So I think when you try to go off the game plan, and like you said, you know, you've been through shit in your life and, it's not going to your game plan. You probably like fuck. What the fuck's going on? I didn't feel defeated though with him, bro. Yeah, I just I said, don't think you were defeated. I, I didn't. I didn't feel defeated with me not having been able to pass the ball back and forth. Yeah, I was just like, all right, this is that lefty gun play shit. You know what I mean? This is why he is who he is, yeah. and he gonna do what he gonna do. Like the dude came in on a vibration. You feel me? You know. And and so I'm at the point now in this interview where fuck it, dog. You know what I mean? Like I came into the. I came into the podcast sober and I told the guys, I said, like, honestly, I ain't gonna lie, dog. Like, I told the guys, I said, this is our little bit of a, like a world series right here. I can't fuck up this interview, dog. And sure enough, you know, some might say I fucked it up and some might say that I did what I was supposed to do, whatever, dog. It's nor here or nor there. At the end of the day, me and the homie, he's a good homie. I'm a good homie, bro. And respect to both sides, bro. You know what I mean? This is just, it, un, un, unfortunately, it got caught on real time. And this shit happens all the fucking time within the homies, dog. And it's just a brotherly thing. It's a, it's a, it's a tough love thing, dog. Real shit. It's tough love. We got a real tough love within this uh, uh, Southern uh, community, you know. And um, at the end of the day, you know, like, <laughs> you know, it's just like water under the bridge, dog, you know. Yeah. Um, but so I didn't feel defeated with the homie, but I realized what it was at one point in the interview. And I just said, well, fuck it, dog. I'm just going to start having fun now. And so I started drinking. I started smoking. I started eating vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> we all did. And you know I like to, you know, stay healthy and shit. <laughs> but um but that's just maybe something that that, that I should have not been doing, bro. You knowing the fact that the homie's already, you know, he's already on his vibrations and I should have just cut all that shit out. I should have just fucking kept it professional, you know what I mean? And saved the partying for afterwards for a celebration of a good podcast. You know, opposed yeah. to start celebrating in the middle of a podcast. And now <laughs> we got the full blown lefty gunplay and the full blown dumbass Lucky, bro, which, you know, Lucky likes to have fun, bro. And then I think that's just been a I think that's been, I think it's been something that people have loved about us since day one, bro. You know, where we just have fun, bro. We, we shoot from the hip and we talk our shit, though. It's, I think it's, it's, it's not dumbass lucky. It's not. It's just, it's just lucky, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, seasonally I fuck up. <laughs> the seasonal yeah, guy, I, right? I think everybody does, bro. I think it happens from time to time. And I think the big the big thing is, is uh, moving past it, bro. You know? It is what it is, you know? Respect to the homie. Respect to us, you know, motherfucker snow, dog. Like it wasn't us trying to be on bullshit, dog. And you know what? I'll say this, bro, that I hate that it ended like that, dog. Because if you really look into the first beginning of the interview, like it was a good interview, bro. Yeah. It was a fucking good ass interview, bro. It was a W on both sides until like the last few minutes, bro. And if I can take that back, dog, I would take that back, dog. And, and I would have just been like, all right, look. Uh, you, you're getting one get your what you're getting one uh, take back. <laughs> yeah, this and, is and, it. And so Let I would I would have been like, all right, well let's just uh, let's just uh, give me a yoo-hoo. Yeah. What do you call the yoo-hoos? The chocolate milks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the you, the homie's already on his vibrations, bro. Yeah, and bro. so we we when, when I when I started fucking, you know, in toxic, my consumption started consuming different things bro now we have uh we're building a fucking bomb bro so to speak of two fucking <laughs> 
out of control motherfuckers. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying he's out of control, but I'm just saying, like, we all out of control. We wild animals on these streets, baby. Don't play with it, dog, you know? This yeah. is the way the city is, dog. And if you don't know, dog, you know what I mean? Then shut the fuck up, dog. And I've read all your comments, dog. And, and I say it's a cool 50-50 split on how everybody feels, and I respect both sides, bro, to be honest, dog. You know, but that's not what I wanted to do. Now, when the shit went left, you know, I'm, I'm, my boys took care of uh, the homie Lefty Gunplay like they should, bro. You know, they had, I'll be, I'll say it like this, bro. They might say different, bro, but they did what they were supposed to do, dog. They had his back 1,000% to the point, dog, that, you know, I ain't going to say with who, dog, but I caught two fades with, with one of my boys uh, within the camp, dog. Two fades were caught, bro. First fade, and then there was a run back, bro. All right? Shit happens, dog, within the fellas, dog. You know what? And he's here right now, dog. I love the fuck out the dude, dog. You know what I mean? That's it. You know? Water under the bridge, bro. Wild animals. You know? Shit happens within the homies. I see everybody reacting to this shit. It's crazy, bro. That went all the way to Power 106. That shit's nuts, bro. And I wish it went. It would have went on something else, dog. Man, we've been doing so much greatness within this within the community, dog, with ex-lifers and, and, and just all kinds of different people on these streets, bro. I wish that would have got shined. Not the fuckery, dog. Not the fucking, the, the slip up at the end that should have, the camera should have been off. And we, it, my fault for not having that conversation afterwards, dog. You know what I mean? I was fucking, we go back to the motherfucking vibrations and then the fucking catch the wave that turns into a tsunami, dog. You know what I mean? You know, it's not good for nobody, dog. And this is not something that I like to, you know, th this is this is a reality check to me, bro. You know, I need to, I need to fucking get my life together if I'm gonna continue doing this because this isn't the product that I want out there going viral. Not Spencer, at all. homie. Not at all. I don't, I don't get no, I don't get no, I don't pat myself in the back and look in the mirror like, dog, lucky you the shit, dog. Well, nah, homie, you stupid, fool. That's how I see myself, dog. You should have been smarter, dog. You should not have been fucking partying so hard. You know? Just give the homie his light, you know? And keep it pushing to the next, man, because the shit was going to go viral anyways. Facts. It he said it himself. Right there. It was going viral anyways, bro. We had 3,000 to 5,000 people watching 5, and tapped in, bro. Watching, bro. The shit was viral already, dog. We didn't need that shit to happen. And that's no. my fault, bro. That's my fault, dog. I'll take accountability to that, dog. I'll take accountability to that, dog, you know? And, and and you know what? Love and respect to fucking Solus from OTR. Love and respect to fucking Straps from KHA and the other homies they had in here, fool. You know what I mean? Because that shit wasn't planned, bro. That shit wasn't a skit. I gotta hit the restroom. Yeah. My bad. Let's take a quick break right now. Yeah. We'll be right back, guys. Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little, uh, life's a game of chess Drugs, guns, who just got me on the run? Let me shine a little light Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little, uh, life's a game of chess Drugs, guns, who just got me on the run? Let me shine a little light I grew up on the 50s, I love my whole city Got the little ones with me, I ain't going back to prison House with a yard, I get my own unlocks, I walk my own yard I'm Figaro a filthy, where I come from, dog, everybody filthy Get your hands dirty, with them concrete burpees Beer runs and licks, my heart was made, dog, with every single brick Legend in my own, I get my little shine on, got a house loan I see a hater smiling, broke with a mouth full Run with my ninjas, used to gun with my ninjas Used to split top ramens on the hood with my ninjas Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little, uh, life's a game of chess Drugs, guns, who just got me on the run? Let me shine a little light Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little, uh, life's a game of chess Drugs, 
drugs, guns, hooters got me on the run. Let me shine a little light. A 53 Thornton, Johnny's on the corner, Fidel was on the block. Pizza so hot, she slide right off. Terror's 49, I got a creature state of mind. Mama Vista Pat, you need to keep a loaded nine. Maury's on thick, used to cop the Cortez, you know the Chino got the kicks. Sitting in the park, you my son, I'm the shine. Rolling down the boulevard, palm tree line, bro, call me anytime. Jack and some coke, we can build on our life. Get our money up without committing all these crimes. Get it while you got it, mix your freedom with some logic. A gangster's moving silence, you ain't gotta speak about it. Tatted on our skin, you know what to do, dog, fairly go on in. You need to rest your head, my door swings on a hinge. Hooters on your bumper, come and jump the neighbor's fence. Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little, uh, life's a game of chess. Drugs, guns, hooters got me on the run. Let me shine a little light. Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little, uh, life's a game of chess. Drugs, guns, hooters got me on the run. Let me shine a little light. A Merriam Street Garage. Gonzo, you my bro. Gotta keep your soul alive. Black Sabbath till I die. A heart pork soldier. Everybody know this. Pull me out of minds. You gonna get the fucking notice. Gentrified faces. What they know about Chuck Taylor fat laces. York Boulevard. Troy's drive through. Got some chili cheese fries before I catch a state line. Cali Mex got the meat. BBQs always turn up on the streets. My homies all crazy. OG homies done made me. Conejo, the homie. Ray Loco, the homie. Yogi, the homie. Night out, the homie. Back Street villain, the homie, whips, the homie, let's go deep on me, all respect to the rest of the team, shit, we miss you motherfuckers, can I get a moment of your time, smoke a little, uh, life's a game of chess, drugs, guns, hooters got me on the run, let me shine a little light, can I get a moment of your time, smoke a little, uh, Life's a game of chess, drugs, guns, hooters got me on the run, let me shine a little light, Yeah, like baby. That. Yeah, baby. Hold up. Let me fix this real quick. Come on, Nick. You too, doggy. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I forgot to take off my shirt last time. Whoa. You already Whoa. know. You know, there's something about it. When there's a break and everybody comes back with their shirts off, though. Now, it, people are going to ask themselves what happened during that break that made these men come back with their shirts off. We're chilling, bro. We're comfortable. We're kicking Man, it. Shit. That's what That's what really happened, bro. We're chilling. We're comfortable, dog. We were embracing each other. Everything was love, bro. And that's how you come back like that, bro. You come back because it's love. You know what I mean? You don't take your shirt off with nobody you ain't comfortable with unless you on some bullshit. And we weren't on no bullshit, dog, and neither was he. Facts. You know? Real shit. We're all outside taking pictures, bro. Yeah. That's where, we, you know, we, we left from the break, went outside, we're all taking pictures, bro, and we're kicking it. You know what I mean? Having a good time, bro. You know what I mean? We're kicking it. Once again, I want to give love to his whole camp because they're doing amazing things within the community and they are breaking barriers and they're open doors. A hey, big ups to motherfucking OTR, baby. Salute, salute OTR. Solus was cool as fuck, bro. Solus, if you're hearing this right now, my G, we talked about that we, I wanted to have you in the podcast and I still love to have you on. You know what I mean, brother? What you're doing with the fellas, man, and giving, uh, like, bro, I need that story, dog. And I've seen you on other podcasts, too, Solis, but I've never watched it in the hopes that one day that I can hear it for the first time on Hoodstocks, brother. And I hope we can still make that happen. Um, um, I, I support the whole camp, uh, OTR, Lefty Gunplay. I support, shit, my homies were in their video the other day. Don't play with it, dog. You know what I mean? This They're week, homie. Knowing. This, this week. week. This week. My, my, we my, was chilling after this shit happened, dog, I was in the What's studio up? with him after this shit happened. We was at his house after it happened. This ain't us on bullshit, you know? Lefty's the homie, dog. Like, on some real shit, we're, we're happy to see him win, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, I know people tune in to see some extra shit, see the homies crash out. That ain't what we on. That's not what we never been on. 
You guys ain't never seen that shit come out of here like that before. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes shit happens. Well, and Rick, that's what Rick, it is. Rick, Rick was a little upset with me. You know, and my boys were upset with me, and they talked to me, right? You know what I mean? And uh, when the, when everything settles down and shit, like, bro, a lot of conversations were had. And there's a, and there's a lot of other cats that have reached out to me, dog. And, and so I, I put a post up saying that the greatest people of the city ever come reached out to me. And they did reach out to me. And I said it comes in different shapes and forms, which is called support, right? You know what I mean? And that support came to me, bro, in different levels, bro. Like, hey, Luck, you know, you did what any man's going to do. Or, hey, Luck. Maybe you should have, you know, been easy on the little bro, bro. Or, hey, Luck, maybe you need to fucking, uh, uh, you know, get a little help, bro. Like, my people are real with me, dog. Or, hey, Luck, let's go have dinner, dog. You feel me? You know? I, you know, hey, bro, sh this is real time, dog. And listen, sometimes it's just like, it's a little embarrassing or it is what it is, especially when you just like... <laughs> <laughs> losing control of the steering wheel and shit, dog. And you the one driving the round flop, bro. You know what I mean? Like, damn, wait, this is, uh, where's the professionalism at? You know what I mean? Well, not here at Hoodstock sometimes, obviously, as you guys have seen. But, you know, just, uh, and that's what makes us uh, 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 some raw entertainment, which is just real life entertainment, you know? And that's what built, built us uh, to, you know, a uh, 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 humble 160,000 subscribers without fucking uh, having to pay for that shit, you know? Right. Even though sometimes the numbers may say otherwise and raise an eyebrow and be like, well, Dick, you got all these subscribers with it, you know, with it, you know, hey, bro, we've, we've, we've been a little down in the past six, six, eight months, bro, we've been down, you know? But uh, we're up right now, and we're up right now because of, let's be real, dog. Let's be real, dog. We're up right now because of Lefty Gunplay. We have 2,000, 2,200 people on here right now because of Lefty Gunplay. Salute he called it. Him. He called Salute. it from the beginning, bro. Yeah. Bro, you think I'm going to fucking come on here and talk shit about that, man? Fuck no, dog. That dude's got greatness going on with him, bro. Regardless of what might be in the system or this, that, and the other or whatever discrepancy you might have with the individual dog, you know what I mean? But, hey, the boy is doing the damn thing, dog. And we support him over here. We Facts. support him, bro. 100%. Facts. Like I said, if I could take that back, I would have taken it back and I would have taken the high road as the older homie, dog. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes the older homie be acting like the little homie sometimes and getting too wild, you I know? I mean, it happens, yeah. bro. It happens. <laughs> Only human, my boy. We know it happens, bro. It happens, you know. And the thing is, is getting past it, bro. Moving on, you know. And and that's what we're really here doing, bro. We're moving on, dog. You know. We're moving on. Yeah. And we got great interviews coming up. But K9, K9 got his own shirt off too right now. Hey, hey, K9, K9, baby. That's one crazy ass Mexican right there, dog. K9 in the house. What a shirt. I want a single. A single life, baby. Uh, I can't, I ain't gonna, not I no ain't more. Gonna, I ain't gonna Look at K9, not no more. I ain't gonna K9 is a handsome motherfucker, yeah. dog. Look at that fool right there, dog. He ready. Let's you go, know, baby. Young Droop sponsored him into some shit. Yeah. Anyways, um, guys, hey, this is Hoodstock's dog. And we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, baby. Facts. We're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep empowering the fellas on the streets. Facts. We're gonna move forward. The homies moving forward, obviously, right? Yeah. He's a fucking tidal wave, bro. He's doing his thing, Hell bro. Yeah. So, you know? Salute to him. Yeah. And maybe one day we can fucking, you know, come together and do it again, bro. You know, yeah. on, a, on a sober level. I'd like to say on both sides, bro, if that's possible. But if anything, on my side, you know? But, um, I just want to, I've read all the comments. I'm not opening up the phone calls today because, because I don't want to, because the phone calls are just going to be saying a lot of shit the comments were saying. We don't need no extras, bro. Yeah, and we ain't like, going to we we do no extras right here, bro. Nah, hell nah. We, we, we're not going to throw anything else on the match, which I said, should we throw gasoline on the match? Hell, yeah. hell nah. That, no, that, that ain't, it's unnecessary, bro. <laughs> that it's unnecessary. ain't what we on, bro. Yeah. That ain't what we on. Oh, my bad. Hell no. You know what I mean? Because if, yeah, we, if, if, sure. if we do yeah. that, we we, we, no, we trying to people. burn another family member's yeah, house down, bro. Hell right. And motherfuckers need to live. Motherfuckers need to That's eat. Love, motherfuckers boy. need to raise up and keep doing what they're doing with the greatness, dog. And I want to thank Lefty Gunplay for coming through, dog, and, and, and giving Hoodstocks a boost, bro, because you know what, dog? Let's keep it a buck, homie. He did that, bro. Yeah. 
He gave he gave yeah. us an alley oop, bro. Hell you know? yeah! Thank you, bro. Th and Straight yeah. up. Thank you, dog. Thank you. And with that said, dog, I love you guys. We'll be back next weekend with a podcast, bro. Bomb-ass podcast. Bangers, bro. And uh, 